today I'll be doing a video on five things that basically are very stupid in the market and basically these things are useless at least some of the things I'm showing is are useless because they're so badly made and that just you know you'll get it once I start telling you guys and showing you guys what these products are I just want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for 265 subscribers OMG I love you guys so much and by the way ignore my lips right now I'm just trying I'm just trying a new lip color from my shop Missé haul video which will be down below as well the first thing that I have is one of the major things that we have all tried I'm sure is tape now I mean tape is excellent you like stick stuff together you gift wrap stuff but tape that isn't sticky I really don't get the point of making like this isn't sticky and there's so much product in it and this was even bigger I was legit taking it off and it wasn't even sticky like I swear like why are you guys even making these products if they're not sticky that's just useless so yeah annoying and useless the second thing, if you guys know the answer for this, please leave it down below in the comments bar. But whenever I bought in a candle, this is a Bath & Body Works candle, they have always said to trim like a bit of this uh, thing. What is it called? The part where you were supposed to light up. You're supposed to cut like a minimum amount of it. I don't know why the heck they can't just like cut it themselves and then put it on like and then put it in shops or online stores or whatever, wherever they sell them but l legit if they just cut a bit of it then that'll just save us like so much safety because like sometimes we forget and stuff and the whole house can go on fire so it's way safer if they just cut a bit of it themselves because it's pretty long and you know you could sometimes forget and just light the whole thing up so I mean if they cut a bit of it it's way way better so yeah, that's another reason why I definitely do not like candles that much. I only like them during the winter time because I just like the smells. But otherwise, I would never use something that has to do with fire and lighting things up. So yeah. The next thing that I have are great, but then some of them suck. Now, I'm sure all of you have tried um, like makeup remover pads and all those kind of stuff. I like using cleanser more because makeup pads can sometimes be greasy. Now, I have this Annabelle Longwear and Waterproof eye makeup remover pads and this is the extra thick pads now I got this at Target before it closed down in Canada and this was great but then I would it would remove makeup and stuff great but then after I'd use like three paper towels just to like take off the grease off my face and it's really bad grease for your face especially these kind of you know like the dirty grease that's on these because like it's gonna cause acne and that's not really good for your skin so I mean grease on like makeup remover pads no that kind of sucks so I mean you could just make a formula that doesn't have to do with anything with grease after that would be great Okay guys, so I have another product from Annabelle, which was the same brand as that makeup remover pad. But this is one of their eyeshadows. Um, here it is. The In the color Azuri or Azure. And okay, so when I try to open it up, great packaging, I'm very scared of opening up because these little um, container things, it could go like everywhere, the eyeshadow. But this one doesn't like that. You open it up and there's another hole right there. Which, this is the part where I kind of hate. How am I supposed to use this? Am I supposed to put my brush in it? Which, like, the brush is supposed to be teeny to fit into that hole. Which is kind of impossible. So they expect me to put this in another container and then use it. That's kind of useless. Like, I'm not a professional makeup artist to put it on a palette and then apply it on my face and stuff. So I would love if they could just remove that hole and make it, like, a whole thing. I mean, it... It may make your floor and stuff dirty a bit, but it's still better than like absolutely not being able to use the product in that teeny hole. So yeah, I would definitely change that if it was me. Okay, the next thing I have are these makeup brushes. Now makeup brushes are great. I use um, e.l.f. makeup brushes, but I got this in a gift set and I actually have seen these in a lot of places where you could get like makeup brushes and they say it on the paper like on the packaging but then once you open them and they're the actual brushes they do not say or state like what the brush is for like i mean a lot of people are like beginners in makeup and stuff and they'd like to know what these brushes are for and i know most of these brushes and stuff but i mean still i think they should definitely like write down what the brush is for. I mean, uh, some of them are obvious and stuff, but no one wants to do research and stuff. So if they could just write down a bit of what the brush is, that would be like great. So yeah, definitely something I change. 
and yeah kind of useless if you do not know what the brushes are for by the way i just realized they're actually six products so yeah ignore that but oh my god something that really annoys me is i love deodorant okay i love good smelling things and i have only used this um, nivea deodorant which smells amazing twice and what i hate about solid deodorants is okay so you use it for like the second time and then guess what A whole chunk of it just comes off. I do not know what product they use into these solid stuff, but I don't get it. Why do these have to break off? I mean, I swear I didn't twist it that much and it just broke off. So I absolutely hate solid deodorants. Using like a um, gel deodorant would be much better. I just hate these. If I was selling deodorant, I would just put the solid one. No one wants deodorant to get all over the room. When that happened, the other day, my whole room was in deodorant. I didn't even know how to clean it up. That's how annoying deodorant when it comes on your floor, so yeah. Okay guys, so that is it for my top five annoying products in the market. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys did, make sure to thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel and yeah, bye!